Hi, my name's Chris and we're watching Charlie Beach Show. Thanks, Chris. No. Good morning, welcome back to Piccadilly Gardens. It is Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Oh yeah, and uh, we have police here with Greater Manchester Police Vulcan, Operation Vulcan. Live long and prosper. Live long and prosper. Vulcan. So uh, we're going to get a different angle. At the moment I'm getting confused, confused foreign student vibes, but we'll monitor like a lizard. We will. Morning guys, morning, morning. Morning guys, good to see your presence here, good to see. So, uh, there I was getting all confused with the two guys chatting to the foreign student. And there's a big police operation up ahead here in Cracky Gardens. The least salubrious gardens in Britain. We will approach, hold it as steady as we can. This ain't no smartphone. This is a proper camera, and uh, proper cameras punish you with slightly less powerful image stabilization. Morning, guys, you're right. Hello. All good. So, uh, it's always good to uh, verify that they're real police. Sometimes you get a film set. You get film set police, but I think these are real police, those tasers. Look kinda real. Let's get a silhouette shot of the press. I just want to show my viewers some simple, simple society, we'll call it. Police presence, no drug dealers sat down with 13 year old girls. Police, no drug dealers. It's almost as if their presence has an effect. At the top of Piccadilly Gardens going towards the train station. Bloody hell, guys, it's about 12.30 on a Friday afternoon. I've just been into Weatherspoons here on the uh, Piccadilly Corniche, and uh, half the lads are downing pints, half the other lads are on their mobile phones trying to get hold of uh, their Albanians. Basically, the cop is saying, down with the crackheads and big up the families and the wholesome. Basically, basically. Now, it's very funny. I uh, do a very nice, very fun interview with uh, Nick Buckley, the mayoral candidate to try and defeat Andy Burnham, which is the Labour permanent mayor because working class people here just vote Labour automatically. The day after I filmed that, now we've got a very wonderful police presence clearing up the gardens. And, uh, hello. Yeah, of course, no problem, no problem at all. Yeah, I work in media, I'll keep it. I'll be polite. I just had a chat with uh, one of the police officers. They're having a, the police have launched a Piccadilly Garden specific police operation that will be today and over the next uh, many days. I will report obviously back to my viewers in an impartial, impartial, neutral, truthful feedback to see if it has an effect. All right, for nobody knows why, the Costa Coffee here on Market Street, the flagship coffee shop on uh, the cracky boardwalk is shut down for a second day in a row, losing tens of thousands of revenue. Now, now why? Why would you do this? Why is it not possible? Okay, we arrive at the covered section of Market Street, the main drag here in Manchester, as you, as you all know, and uh, being careful with the copyrighted music, the normies are queuing because Boots. Hello, are you okay? Boots are giving out free cosmetics. Now, why do women need makeup when they are so beautiful anyway? Why do they need perfume when they smell so good? Who knows? There's a man with a large dog being interviewed. Check this out. Dog's interested. Hello, doggy. How are you? Thank you, man. Cheers. 
So, uh, dog, ma can I say hello to the, are you a good dog? Are you a good dog? Bite my hand off. No, don't bite my hand off. Good doggy. Good doggy. That dog wants to eat. That dog. That moment you bring a giant tough dog and the lady in the big fur coat gives it cuddles. Sunglasses out of the way. Well, that ruined my walk to the car shot. Okay, to the viewer that requested more close ups and audio of trams going past, this one's for you, bro. I read my comments, I give my viewers what they want. You guys are, after all, the boss. Yesterday I called YouTube my boss, but YouTube is just my agent. So the irony of promoting good nights out, but uh, putting a nice big poster, pink one, about where safe spaces where you can go if you get a bit, uh, a bit enriched. Here's a nice touch. He's wearing a wire. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the official cracky benches, and they're awfully quiet with six police officers there. I've seen a few of the usual suspects. People, <laughs> hello. <laughs> People, <laughs> you know what, you're improving the shot. People who uh, I do suspect of um, distrib distributing stimulants on the black market, um, they're uh, not sticking around today. Pigeons are though. Oh, it's my dancer again, how are you? <laughs> That's so fucking clever. Hey man, how are you? Did you call me a Muppet when I went past? Hey bro, what's all this about bro? I'm just trying to make friends, but I thought we were cool. Why did you call me a Muppet? So why are you coming up causing you shit, bro? Huh? Move away with your camera. Oh, okay, you won't. You'll deny it now. Okay, no worries, guys. So, yeah, all the best. Recording. Are you recording? Not it's always shit. recording. Are you yeah, yeah. recording? It's recording. Fuck you, bro. Yeah. I'm your Muppet. I'm calling you a Muppet. Top of the morning to you, Mr. Murphy. Take care. No, I'm not. He's a British. Okay, good, good, I'm fair pretty. play to you. Thank yeah. you. Anyway, uh, we're done now. Yeah, Take care. No, we're done because I'm saying we're done. Fuck off. Okay, bro. A group of wide boy roadmen, teenagers walk past the group of cops doing that whole hard boy walk. Hard boy. I'm hard. I'm top dog. Hello, sir. Oh, one sec. Hey, that's okay. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Can I turn the camera? I'll say hello to you. So this is why my shot went weird. A, a, a man with good taste was yeah. saying hello. Anyone in cuffs? Anyone getting arrested? Anyone? He got caught with a little split. Caught with a split. with a split? That is crime of the century. Oh, no. Execute the guy. Apparently he's getting arrested again if he gets caught with it. Oh, nice one. Thanks for the intel. Thanks, mate. So uh, someone's been um, spliffed. Oh, handcuffs, handcuffs. So we need to bring you in for under immigration. Okay, why? Just to confirm who you are. I'm just a public photographer. Hey, I'll come back, I'll come back. I'll, come back. I'll calm down, bro, calm down. The camera's gonna provoke the situation. I know, but I've gotta do my job as well, though. I'll do it from a distance. There's compromise to be had. You're brave when you're in cuffs, my friend, aren't you? Oh, spitting! Whoa, there's a nice offense. <laughs> Maybe he deserves to be in the handcuffs with that attitude. Brave boy. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Can I have a look at your, your SIA badge? Oh, Why are you saying that I'm inciting the situation to the police? Why would you say that? Let's just let them deal with it. What about, so I need to earn my money. What if I'm in public with a camera? Why are you snitching? You're a little girl snitch. Oh my God. Yeah. I'm Charlie Veach, bitch. Okay, everyone's getting handcuffed today. This goes to show if the police actually spend the time in cracky gardens, they'll get results.
Madam, just out of interest, were you complaining about me to the police? A free man walking around taking free photographs in a public setting. You were complaining to the police about me. Why would you do that? Why is everyone snitching on me today? Soviet British Union. A man with a camera. Let's report him to the police. Did you hope that they would take away my liberty? Is that what you were doing, madam? Yeah, I would be shamed as well. Get that umbrella down. All right, here's the angry guy that uh, projected some saliva. Yeah, he's kicking off. He's kicking off. Okay, going away. It's escalating. I'll go back one meter. How's that? Yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a reasonable man. Oh, he urinated allegedly next to the children's park. Allegedly. I don't think they mind the singing. Well, do you not hear what he said? Singing in public? No, he said you allegedly urinated next to the kids' no, play area. Do you not hear that? If that's recorded, yeah. allegedly singing in public. No, but. If you, if you rewind back, there was three things on there. Just you, remember you're under caution, yeah? I'm, I don't know what. Everything you say may be used against you. Be careful what no, you say. No, no, yeah. no. I, I got what you're saying. Yeah. There was three things on there. Yeah. There was urinating. Yeah. He was shouting. Yep. And then it was singing in public. But only one. What the urination makes the other two even worse. No, the urination. Yeah. I fucking hell! I was I was bursting, and my head was about to blow off. So I thought, fucking hell. But there's a Weatherspoons right there, bro. Well, well, there's a McDonald's right there. Yeah, but I don't know who owns these places. So, but be careful. As as your free legal advice, don't admit to anything. Yeah. But, I, 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 <laughs> but, but, but you heard him say. You heard him say. I heard nothing. I, I didn't see anything. Is that being recorded? It's on video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Singing in public. No, but the urination is why they minded. No, no, but but them as a police force just said. Yeah. Your charge is your ch your charge is yeah. singing in public. I'll tell you the good news. You no. you'll be. Give my colleague an idea. But, but one of the charges they just yeah. put on there was singing in public, was it not? Oh, well, anyway, I'll tell you the good news. It's not a major... You'll be out soon. You'll be all right. Well, no, one of the charges on there was singing in public. There's no charge of singing in public. So why did they put it on there? Because it's the overall urination behavior. No, 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 but why did they put a charge on singing in public? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, good luck. Why, why did they say that charge is singing in public? I don't know. Because you're, you're a world-stage fucking photographer. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. I'd l I'd, I'm not that good, but thank you. Well, well you should be. I'll, tell you, let the, I'll, I'll move back there. I'm, I'm annoying everyone here. So, um, the um, aggression and ferocity with which the guy reacted when he saw I was filming makes me surprised. He, I do not believe he is native to this country. Maybe not. Again, he's giving me the middle finger from the back of a police car. They must believe that this country and the natives and the police are soft. When you are handcuffed and you try and attack someone, you must believe that the country that you is, that is hosting you is soft, very soft. Anyway, thank you to um, this gentleman. He gave me a few words in handcuffs. A much more friendly experience. Wow. Now, for anyone, anyone, if you ever find yourself, as I have many, many, many times in my 20s, if you ever find yourself, never for anything serious, guys, always for public order, protesting, yada, yada, Section 5, public order, this. But if you ever find yourself detained by the police, they have the physical force monopoly. You're not going to wrestle them away. Just stay calm and it might save you a few hours of boredom. And that's what it is. It's, uh, you're not going to get beaten up in the cells. You're not going to get tortured. You're not going to get deprived of food or water or warmth. You'll be deprived of stimulation and it's boring. So for me, the greatest deterrent against breaking the law, well, is obviously morality. Don't be, don't be a dick. Hello. Love your videos. Oh, thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. It's a, thank you. I will do. It's don't obviously. Anyway, 
Anyway, I'm just ranting now. How's our angry man doing? All right, guys, here's the, the more peaceful gentleman. I believe he is stimulated. And there's the, there you go. We'll get the secondary money shot here. Here we go, here we go, secondary money shot. And, wait for it, and cut. I think angry boy, angry man. Sorry, angry man is gonna get, I don't know, maybe released to come and speak to me. <laughs> There's a special key thing that stops them opening it from the inside, so he's just adjusting the child. Child door lock. Maybe you're being released, who knows? Released? Be optimistic released. about it, you never know. I had my hands in front of me, and then they thought, you know what, I'm bored. I'm I know. All right. Well, I hope it all works out. It's not a bad, bad charge, so you're okay. <laughs> Urinating in public isn't robbing a bank. Anyway. Well, they're all sat in there with them. Tight squeeze. Tight squeeze. And I heard earlier they're going to contact immigration as well because they don't believe he's, uh, well, they suspect he may be, he may be here illegally. Can you hear the pitter patter on the umbrelloid? It's a washout. Okay guys, I'm going to take my time with this one. So we've seen this before. Is biology the root of women's oppression? Is reality the root of oppression? Is reality, is the essence of being itself evil and nasty? Back in the 50s, a uh, French philosopher, Albert Camus, he wrote uh, a book called The Rebel. He won the Nobel Prize for Literature for The Rebel. He, over 350 pages, discussed how reality is absurd. Absurdism. It's a horrible absurdity that we are alive, that we exist, that we are conscious. And he says that... Oh, little guy, he doesn't mind if he appears in the video. Hello, little guy, do you watch my video? Do you want to introduce yourself and let the viewer know what channel they're watching? Hello, my name is Finley, and, um, and you've met Charlie Peachy. Finley, you're a gentleman. Thank you, sir. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. All the best, Finley. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. A guy with uh, his little brother. That was. I I'm getting a bit emotional now. Little Finley, God bless you. I hope you have a very successful life, little guy. And thank you for watching my channel. You might be a little bit young for the content, but uh, yeah, you should have seen what I was watching in the 80s. So um, yeah, Albert Camus wrote The Rebel. He says that in order to uh, fight against the inherent nonsense, the nihilism and absurdity of reality, you have to fight for something. You have to rebel against that horrible nihilistic black hole. And uh, the true rebellion against nihilism and the absurdity is to develop a, a kind, loving way of being, to support your family, to, to work hard, to be humble, to be gentle, and to try and elevate the people around you who are maybe strug struggling. But false rebellion, fake rebellion, when in fact you're truly working for the absurdity, you are working for that black hole, yet you think you are a rebel, is when you become an angry communist and you write you write such strange things as, is biology the root of women's oppression? Wow. Is up, down, charm, and quirky, whatever those subatomic particles are, are they the cause for Charlie Veach's oppression? Who knows? So I'm uh, here at the Sky Store, and uh, no, gnomes are not allowed, despite the fact that they all wear these cute little hats. 